and we're live. So today I want to do a deep dive into the word nature and in the book Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. So I want to do a deep dive into the word nature and I'm going to pick several different parts in the book where he mentions the word. Um, I couldn't go through all of them but I picked a lot of them and what he means by nature is there's one section where he says nature or the logos uh, or providence or simply how things are. So he's mentioning the word nature quite a bit and it's basically how things are, how things were intended to be. Um, whether it has to do with uh, adversities, sickness, death, it's how things are. It's just in our nature. And then he uses several references of like animals or plants that it's in their nature to do a certain thing and it's in our nature to be a certain way. Um, and everybody has their own way of being. And so he's saying, go ahead and follow the way that you are. Um, so here's another uh, section page 48 if you're following along with this book and it's um, this is the one by Gregory Hayes uh, he says to pass through this brief life as nature demands to give it up without complaint and that's you know another common theme he's talking about going through life and you know accepting death and but it but to pass through this brief life as nature demands. So what does he mean by that, as nature demands? It's basically just as, as things are supposed to be, right? Um, I personally, I read that and I think, okay, maybe as pursuing like something that we love, something that we're passionate about, something that we enjoy, trying to do the best, right? He talks about, being a genuine person and just trying to always do your best. So if that's in your nature, um, that's what you would do. If it's in your nature that you're somebody that likes to get up every day and go outside, you like nature, you like the, uh, the outdoors, then finding a way to do that more often, right? If you're somebody that likes doing things from, let's say, from home and um, you like kind of being a little bit more um, to yourself and your thoughts, you know. And, and if that's you, then maybe finding a way that you can be in that setting, um, which is kind of contrary to what I've always thought. I've always thought we need to carve our own way. He's talking about find the path um, that's in your nature that's maybe the easiest path. He references that. So another. Another section is, uh, he says, take the shortest route, the one that nature planned, to speak and act in the healthiest way. Do that and be free of pain and stress and free of all calculation and pretension. So he's saying, take the shortest route, uh, the one that nature planned to speak and act in the healthiest way. So, I mean, when I look at that again, I'm thinking, wait a second, I thought we're supposed to overcome obstacles. and, But I think maybe if that's in your nature that you like adversity and overcoming obstacles, then go that route. Maybe that's the path that you feel more comfortable. You know, I, I, I've heard Joe Rogan say it. He's like, you know, I would, I would never be able to work in an office setting. I would never be able to like, be indoors all the time, right? It's because it's not in his nature. He likes talking to people, going out, doing his comedy, constantly interviewing people. So that's why for him, maybe being in an office is torture. And there's a lot of people that say that, right? Some people doing uh, going out and speaking to people is torture. So you maybe that person needs to find their nature and pursue what what they like doing. Uh, what's what comes most natural to them. Um, another section that he references, uh, this is in page 55, he's saying, um, 
He's saying, be like a vine that produces grapes, not looking for or expecting anything in return. So they're, they're like a vine that produces grapes without looking for or looking for anything in return. The vine will produce grapes no matter what, right? As long as you water it and give it nutrition. Um, so that we should be like that. You know, to give and not expect anything in return. Um, another section that that he brings up, he says, you know, and, and when you think about nature and accepting that things allow things to happen, that um, because that's as as they should be, right? As there, it's as nature intended them to be. It's kind of like I think for me, it's a certain weight off my shoulders to a certain extent, to a certain extent, right? You're still going to work, still going to be making sure you're progressing, learning, but a certain weight off the shoulders in the sense that, I mean, how many times have we heard, oh, I, I was pursuing one thing in life and then I ended up doing something completely different, you know, because... It's, it's what's going to happen to you is what nature intends. That's pretty much what it comes down to. That's, that's his approach, okay? And again, this book, Meditations, is written by the emperor uh, Marcus Aurelius, who in, he was adopted into the, the throne. And he basically used this as his own little notes to like keep us on a straight path, be a good person, um, and this, this was never meant to be published. So if you look into the history of it, it's just his notes, it's his journal. Um, so on page 58, he says, nothing can happen to me that isn't natural. I can keep from doing anything that God and my own spirit don't approve. No one can force me to. So nothing that happens to me, nothing can happen to me that isn't natural. So I think that's pretty cool. It's just, again, kind of like a load off your shoulders to a certain extent. Um, another section, uh, page 60, he's talking about, oh, another, he's saying nothing happens to anyone that he, can, that he can't endure. So nothing happens to anyone that he can't endure. Um, and let's see here. Okay, what is it? Or, okay, so other other people, so he says, so other people hurt me. That's their problem. Their, char their character and actions are not mine. What is done to me is ordained by nature. What I do by my own. So, you know, also it's like when things happen to you, um, it's, a, it's also coming from the angle of like, you know, when things happen to you, you can figure out how you want to perceive certain things. You can figure out how you want to actually take that. When someone says something to you, instead of getting emotionally charged up, instead of letting that person offend you, um, if they say they're attacking you, you can take a different approach. You can just process what they're saying without the emotional charge. Right, and that that's one of the things that um, he talks a lot about is having that discipline. Um, nature is pliable. This is another part in the book. Nature is pliable, obedient, and the logos that governs it has no reason to do evil. So again, it's just a super common theme in his book. Meditations is nature, just accepting what is. Um, this doesn't have to do with that, but I think it's pretty cool. It says the best revenge is not to be like that. So however a person's however a person is being with you, um, instead of retaliating and being like them, the, the best revenge is to not be like that. So again, a lot of self-control. Um, um, here he's saying no one objects to what is useful to him to be of use to others is natural 
then don't object to what is useful to you, which is being of use. So be of use, help others, find a way to um, find a way to, to pursue what you were intended to, right? And finding that and experimenting and going through different careers maybe or different hobbies or different you know relationships and find what is meant for you um here he says do what nature demands get a move on if you have it in you and don't worry whether anyone will give you credit for it don't go expecting plato's republic be satisfied with even the smallest progress and treat the outcome of of it all as unimportant so for me being in um, coming from a business background in, in the sales organizations, you know, when he says treat the outcome of it all as unimportant, for me, I think of like um, certain situations where there's a lot of accolades when you reach high levels of sales and achievement, um, and all those accolades, accolades and awards. I've always thought can warp or change somebody because you're constantly being told you're great, you're great. Um, so he's saying treat the outcome of it all as unimportant, that you know you did what you needed to do, what was in your nature, and, and you move on. You're not expecting anything else. You go unchanged. Um, be satisfied with the smallest progress. So I like that. I like that. It's, um, And I'll leave you with one last one here. So this last one, he's talking about <laughs> stupidity is expecting figs in the winter or children in old age, right? Uh, grapes unripe, ripened, then raisins, constant transitions, not the not, but the not yet. So even when you think, uh, let's say a grape is uh, now fully ripened, but then it turns into a raisin. So all of these things are still useful. And it's in the nature that if the grape is not eaten, it will ripen and it'll turn into a raisin. And it'll constantly be transitioning. And just as we transition in life, eventually um, moving on, right? And, um, and again, that's one of the things that he talks about. It's in our nature to be here to come and try and do good and be genuine and a good person and then and then to move on and let go just as we came in with grace uh, to accept, right, um, whatever comes. And so that's my little deep dive into the word nature and how Marcus Aurelius used it. And I think that for me personally, it's been a really, really um, – it's been a very helpful book. And that particular part where he's talking about – pursuing let's say the path the shortest route or it's not like that you're not gonna I don't take it as like don't work hard and but it's it's see what for me like what I'm passionate about like making videos for example uh, educating I like reading I like learning I like helping other people and so that's what I'm falling more and more that I'm pursuing more and more because that's what I enjoy um, and I'm passionate about. And so, you know, if you get a chance to read this book, I think it's definitely worthwhile. But I hope that this little video was helpful to you. And uh, go out and pursue whatever it is that, that you should be doing. Good luck.